Hello everyone, I'm Bryson and welcome to my channel Simply Easy. In this channel, I will show you maintenance of different things which you can do by yourself at home without calling a specialist. So today I, I'm going to show you how to change the capacitor of a water pump. So if the pump does not start by itself after giving power, if the fan does not rotate and then you have to rotate the fan manually, then it is the problem of the capacitor. Once you change the capacitor, it will run smoothly again. So today I'm going to show you how to change the capacitor. So let's not waste time and start the video. So this is the motor and that's the capacitor cover. Now I'm removing the capacitor cover and uh, that is the capacitor inside. So first thing what you'll have to do is take a photo of the wiring connections so that if you forget while putting back which wire goes where then you can always refer to the photo and put all the wires back. As you can see that I am now disconnecting all the connections. I am trying to remove the capacitor out of the motor. Here you can see that the capacitor is all burned up so I will try to recover the connection plate by disconnecting this capacitor from the plate. Here what I am doing is I am just making it hot so that the plastic melts and I can disconnect the capacitor from the wiring plate. I somehow managed to remove the capacitor. Uh, what you'll have to do is just clean the plate a little bit because there is still some plastic left on the plate. Just clean it up. Now this is the replacement capacitor. You will get this capacitor in any of the electrical shop. Just take the old capacitor and buy a replacement for that. Now what I am doing is I am putting all the wires back. If you don't remember which wire goes where then just look at the photo which you had clicked before you had disconnected everything. So just look at refer to that photo and just put all the wires back. Now I am done putting all the wires back in place how they were and just put the capacitor back here how it was put the plate back and just turn on the motor 
to see if it is working. Don't turn the motor on and keep it on for a long time. Just turn it on for one second and then turn it off. As you can see the motor has turned on without touching the fan. That's it for today guys. Please don't forget to like and share or leave a comment below if you have any queries and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of my latest videos till then bye and take care